Hi, I'm Dan Gamage. And a, a question that I ask every buyer um, when I start working with them is, would you rather have the larger home in the smaller neighborhood or the smaller home in the larger neighborhood? And a, a little bit better example is, let's say we have a neighborhood that sells from four to 600,000. And you could buy in that neighborhood at 600,000, a 2,300 square feet nice home. Um, but you're at the top of what that neighborhood sells for. Or would you rather buy a 1,700 square foot home in a neighborhood that sells from 600 to 800,000? That's a question that people have to ask themselves uh, when they start comparing homes and neighborhoods and break down exactly what their priority is. If you have a larger family, you might want to lean towards the, the larger home. But one aspect that I like to present to people is the one that's always going to be more desirable desirable when it comes to resale is going to be the smaller home in the larger neighborhood because people feel it's important to have that prestigiousness that you live in that neighborhood so that smaller home is going to be more desirable than the larger one when it comes to resale and it probably will be when you're faced with um, purchasing one or the other you might have competition with the one that's in the larger neighborhood so it's a good thing to think about and start uh, analyzing your pros and cons list when it comes to buying a home and if you have any additional questions I'd be happy to you know take it a, a step further and, and look at the different layers that uh, you know get into a decision like that uh, my number is 925-918-0332 or you can email me, dan at pleasantonneighborhoods.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye.